Back with more later, Gator. I ain't gonna screw around now. I gotta get to the bottom of this, like, ASAP. Alright, uh, where to go? Uh... Let's go back to the unsavory part of town. Let's go see what some of that stuff in the alley is all about. Hello? Eh, did you say something? I see you over there eyeing my cards, youngin, but I ain't giving them to you. Last time I was giving my cards away, it's long before you were born. Now look at me, I'm old. See what Sharon gets you? Aging irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skeleton, and then you turn around, boom! Jowls are hanging down past your collarbones, which are now hollow inside. Is that what you want? Hollow card collarbones? The nest of a daddy long legs inside? Stop staring at my cards. Who? That's only the business of me and the nurse that puts the ointment on my back. <laughs> my back bees three times a week. Stop staring at my cards. Well, Pat. What? What did Pat tell you to go steal his great on? Wait, what? Did Pat. Uh, Fuck. Did Pat tell you to steal his great aunt's cards? Because if he did, I ain't gonna give him his Christmas present this year. Which is, of course, a bag of oranges and a strange tin of popcorn from 1987. <laughs> Stop staring at my cards! I ain't telling a kid like you nothing. How about we play cards for him? Although, you could play me for the information. As long as you don't stare at my cards. What do you say, kiddo? Think you can beat the old maid? Hey, yeah, we can give it a shot. She's a wily old gal. You're in for it, pal. Older maid! You team before age, my dear. You go first. Go on, I haven't got all year. Literally. that card. Yosh! I won't lose. My turn. Take that nine. You must be shaking in your booty seeing all these pairs. Take your turn already. Take that card. Yes! Cotton it! I can pick cards in my sleep. Sometimes it feels like the pairs want to find me. Are you ready yet? Uh, I'll take that card. No! You can have her for a bit. Pick cards in my sleep. Damn it! No! Too old to play mind games. Just take a card. Damn it! I lost! Pass. I'll come back for you, old lady. Go home with your tail between your legs, baby. Maybe your mommy will wipe tears off your snoot. <laughs> <coughs> Dang it, I lost in a game of cards against an old lady. I wonder who this bloke is. Actually, no. The duo in the car. I want to see you there. I see you there. Vagrant. Brother, I don't think they're a fake. Got that suit on. Perhaps a hobo king? Maybe you're right, sister. You there, hobo king. Come here, mo. Honestly, brother, what are you even doing in this filthy part of town? I'm breathing the air outside the seeding watery holes, making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree, sister. But you know as well as I that we had to find an unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary. So anyone at the estate was out. Besides, you know how weird I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to the stranger with the briefcase then? Yes, yes, as long as it's not someone that gives me the dreadful honor of being known. Who? Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Indeed, sister. Perhaps with that pinstripe style, they've spent the last 30 years or so locked in a storage closet with their fingers in their ears. 
their other fingers in their eyes. And fingers yet still in their nose. <laughs> Obviously, since I released that perfume this year. Obviously. I'm Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. This is my brother, Prince Valentino. He's also the heir since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. Couldn't test for that gene, and you know it, Prince. Pat? Why, he's our second cousin. It's like a cousin, but thankfully a little more removed from your gene pool. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side. Much like your personality system. <laughs> oh, Prince. Such a cut-up. Much like how I cut up your invitation at the Met Gala this year and fed it to the cat. What? This... <laughs> The thief this year was the Monopoly mascot, and you know Mittens the third is on a strict diet for her failing kidneys. Okay. Did not expect that. I'm gonna have to be more specific. I attend a lot of events, you know. Balls, galas, exhibitions, Prince's unfortunate performance art shows. If you are speaking to last week when I walked the runway for Gil's Fashion Fishery rubber pants for moist alligators, I'll have you know I got a write-up in a magazine spread for highlights for children. Anyway, if you talk about tonight, we got no qualm to spill the whole secret to you. That is, only if you do the smallest favors. Alright, what is it? What do you got? See, my beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison-related complications. You know, the natural way. Splitting up our shared inheritance, but we can really use a mediator. Someone to protest my beautiful face from dear sister's punches. It's true. I punch super duper hard. If only we had some help dividing up daddy's precious possessions. I'm sure we could tell you the information you seek. So, will you help us or do you have Hobo King duties to attend to? Huh. Split the perks between the jerks. Divine twin inheritance. Use the checklist to assign an item to each of the Valentino twins. You can't leave until both twins are happy, so pay attention to the indications bar. Okay, got it. Let's get on with this. Daddy's not getting any more alive. I'm already bored. Alright. Make a store. Simply could. My conscience won't allow it. Clash is terribly with everything I own. Be up all night worried about it. Okay. Shiny, damaged, and empty. I wouldn't be totally out of place. Wouldn't be totally out of place with me, I suppose. I don't know. Hat? Rather. Gosh, don't you think? I'm also so last season, which is why I'm having mine removed next month. A fine vintage from the year I was born. Daddy was saving it for when I became an admirable member of society. Good thing he died and I could just take it. So I'm mostly compilations of Halloween sound effects and scream, so yes, please give this to me. Alright, uh, photo? Signed photo of the president? To be rather sure with you, I didn't vote for him or that gold chain. What the fuck? Uh, you want a painting? This would look great, placed delicately behind me for the upcoming <laughs> photo on the cover of Vanity Flair, a fashion magazine for me, Lady Alligators. And he always did like to show off our wealth. Money sacks, diamond throwing parties, PJs made of two parts, endangered tiger, one part Great Barrier Reef? What? I mean, I guess he knew how to live. What the hell? Uh, okay, the blade. How Mumsy and Daddy would let us swing this around the front yard whenever we get solicitors. Those were happy times. Creatures fire. All it does is yell about sports teams say, Help, help, I'm being poisoned. That's make me wistful about dear death. Okay, uh. Well, this claymore. Rat. Hey, great grandmother's claymore. Rat for place with me in my pet house, or possibly in my ex boyfriend Blake, the house music DJ. Okay. 
I want the parrot? But not. I spent hours training in the $50 bill in front of our governess as she cried. Sweet childhood memories. Uh, you want the photo? Well, it's a conversation piece, I suppose. Okay, um... The first turn, we put Daddy. It melted, but luckily this one's from the funeral home. New poison-proof collection. You look like you'd want this much. Pass, smart, the fastest guy in ANYC. Check my online dating profile reviews. My several phones could use a new car. This would be more of a masterpiece if it depicted something more important like me, perhaps. Cozy, just the kind of thing I like. Warm, made through the suffering of another. Bring back memories. Well, the, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stop doing these voices because I gotta figure this out. Okay, remember when we walked up tipsy, tipsy cousin Cleo in the wine cellar after learning the promise of even finer vintage. Oh, how we laughed! I want to see something mysterious and confusing. I just look at Princess new headshots. Interesting. Large for my multiple Blu-ray players. I have eyes, don't I? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Father's beloved cartoonish sack of money reminds me... So much of him, cold, hard, beneath my flippers. Must be smashing with great grandmother's claymore, literally. Yeah! Alright, cool, bars are filled up. Toast to me! <laughs> I did it! Yes! They are happy. Family member badge. Oh, I could have given the hat to her. It's all of daddy's things. I feel quite pleased with my haul. Me as well. Why, I'm in such a good mood, I'm almost feeling feelings again. Seriously, brother, how pedestrian. I know, please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat these days. I guess we should thank you, Pinstripes. I'll tell you what. You want to know about the event, but we won't. Your reward is our smiling snoots. Get out of our car before we ring the police. Oh, ho, 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 delightfully devilish Valentinos. All right, 5.15, so I have till 8 o'clock in this game's time. Hey, what are you looking at? Try to listen to a exceedingly private rooftop conversation. Beat it, creep. Alright. Hey man, you gotta change your novelty tie-dye apparel. Wow, Star Child. I can like feel your energy from over here. I'd say it's what's harshing my whole thing right now. The truth is, I free cycled some really gnarly bagels from lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store. Mellow has been thoroughly pre-harshed. Huh? Are there bee-bees in the dumpster of the furniture store? Oh, throw pillows. Bummer. Listen, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket, filled it equally from stranger lit and candy wrappers? It's no wonder I got into the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. Who are you? I'm eight. It's totally chill to meet you dot com dot org. <laughs> All right, the the dot org's a little unnecessary, but uh, I can live with it. Sort of knew someone would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant, according to some sub forums I visit online. Plus, I have a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. The potent energy courses through me to my inner core, which is great since I spent the last of my dosh on something suspiciously expensive. On, on some suspiciously expensive crystals. 
and my inner core super starved, man. Did you say Pat? He's a pretty cool guy. Kinda dressed like a preschooler though, from being realsies. My little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin, so I guess you can say we're kinda like family. Uh, you can say anything to strangers, really. No one can stop you. Tonight? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. I could, actually. Like, probably tell you a few things you could do me a solid first. You see, those suspiciously expensive crystals I mentioned earlier. Well, those little mamas were s also suspiciously powerful. Just three nights of holding them, even when I had to get up to do pee, I feel mystically charged enough to access my innermost self. But in my tireless quest and through crystal connection or crystal concentration arts, I just don't have the time to shower on my dust or dust my pewter miniatures. <laughs> Besides, bathing is way. For the man to keep us down, you should be sliding across the floor or on an oil slick of your own creation, like nature intended. My aromatic scent keeps away a lot of unwanted company, like solicitors and my father. But it invited others. I'm talking about flies. These little buzz and buzz kills keep harsh and mellow. They're making it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light. Do the right thing, or to do it inner right, if you know what I mean. If you could just swat them away from me while I'm getting my meditation on, I'd be happy to do you a solid in return. So if you will be my spotter swatter. Okay, uh, that's fine. Slap a, slap a fly from an icky guy. Medi meditation infestation. Clicks on flies and hordens to attack them with fly sweaters. Hordens take extra hits. Be careful, don't swap. Don't swap butterflies or aid. Yeah, I can do that. All right. See, Dad, I do have friends. Oh god, this is like the fly minigame in uh, uh, Mario Paint. Cosmos and pick up Wi-Fi. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Keep going. I'm almost there. What? What? Starting to pick up Wi-Fi. Oh no. Whoa! Oh, uh, that's crazy, dude. All right, but we won. That's okay. Hello, my star child. Through crystal channeling and staying modestly hydrated like advised on social medias, I have been able to reach my most powerful form. Got a family member badge. Nice. I'm still the Aiden you've known and adored for so long, but a new, more powerful Aiden. A Paiden, as it were. Like how I haven't been paid in weeks. I'm so hungry. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I don't feel the human desire for food in my new astral mode. Hey, did you hear an ice cream truck? Oh, no reason. I just like the song the truck plays. It's a real bop. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream truck be bopping. Be jamming. No, I'm not crying. I can now tell you a bit about the event now. So I'm a being of pure energy and knowledge given form, but also being that's like extremely good at keeping secrets, man. What little I can tell you is it concerns Pad for a certain reason. That's all I can really say. I don't want Lizzie to get too mad at me for spilling the beans. She's got those angry little sister hands. He 
even beings of pure peaceful energy are adverse to tiny sister punches. <laughs> Thank you again for your spiritual guidance. What you have done here today will not be forgotten, at least not for the 45 minutes of short-term memory I have. Hey, did you hear an ice cream truck? <laughs> nice, alright. Uh, he said not to go into an alley, but let's... Oh! Wendy Carlos is a composer and pioneer of synthesizer music. When she was in college in the late 1950s into the 1960s, electronic music was an, acad was an academic curiosity, but all that would change when Wendy met Robert Moog, the inventor of the first commercial synthesizer. Wendy gave advice and technical support to Robert while, while he developed his keyboard-based synth. In 1968, Wendy used a hand-built Moog synthesizer to perform... Uh, switched on Bach, the first classical album to sell a million copies. Wait, is this true? Uh, uh, how true is this? Hold up. Is there actually a Wendy Carlos? Yo, dude, dude that's real. That's awesome. I like that. I learned something today. After the unexpected success of Switched on Bach, Wendy's career skyrocketed. She was invited to score Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange and worked with him again on the soundtrack to The Shining. While living and working in Manhattan, Wendy collaborated closely with her producer and roommate Rachel Elkin, whose vocoder performance appeared on several of Wendy's tracks. Rachel came up with the idea for several of Wendy's albums. Wendy would fight vigorously for her credits and other works, including her credit as co-composer of The Shining. When Rachel moved away to France, Wendy converted a loft into a brand new studio, which was enclosed in a Faraday cage to protect her recording equipment from outside noise. It was here in 1982 that she composed the soundtrack to Tron. It was the first soundtrack that continuously blended analog and digital synthesizers with a symphonic orchestra. Wendy's ability to bring timber to synthesize sounds, as well as her work using Alternate tunings and scales are trademarks of her composition, helped her create all new music that would that could still mesh with classical and orchestral works. And that's so awesome! The music of Wendy Carlos helped elevate the synthesizer from an in-home toy or university curiosity into the sphere of professional composition. Her music career continued well into the 2000s when she remastered and released several of her unpublished recordings, including several unused songs from The Shining, Clockwork Orange, and Tron. Yo! Yo, dude, that's cool. <laughs> Minna. Excuse me, I'm clearly trying to take notes on the material, so shoo. This is also affirming. I'm approaching max validation. So we want to strut right out of here and start a revolution. Hey, you know, uh, uh, beloved movie franchise Space Fight, Episode 7, Return of the Guy, copyright. Remember when Bannigan Clown Pincher? <laughs> uh, Cloud Pincher? It's feel to be the guy. This feels like people really misunderstand his character. Oh boy, he's a Star Wars nerd. Fuck. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't sit there talking to me about how much he hates the prequels or how he hates the new Star Wars films, as they all do. Tended advocacy talks all up and down the East Coast. This one by far is the most lemon square and brownie collection. That's the best collection of them. A yush. Am I in the wrong room? This is definitely not a support group for people who have grown too emotionally attached to vloggers. <laughs> Wait, is there anything to, uh... Clock. Hey, Emily. Yeah? Wanna go get sushi burritos after this? I'm never trying to save money, but I hear the siren song of the sushi rito calling me. Sushi rito! That's awesome. You had me at hey. Welcome, please sign our guest book. 
Can I sign it? No. Damn. Ooh, someone new. Have a seat. We're just about to get started. Okay, but, uh, but, but I can't take a seat. For some coffee of Minna's famous spring rolls. Oh, go on. <laughs> Don't worry about where you sit. I plan on yelling indiscriminately so all seating is within range. I put out enough folding chairs? Don't want to repeat a space fight trivia night's chaos. Okay. Uh, well, I can't sit anywhere, so I guess that's it. Uh, what time is it? 5.45? Uh, I got about two hours. The clock there says it's like... I don't know, like noon? Alright, you know what? That... That... That was nice. I actually got to learn a... I got to learn something, so that's always cool. Who are you? Hey, got a light? No, not for my cigarette. I mean in general. It's kind of dark out here, and I've got spooky ghost allergy. You ain't seen any, right? No. No, I have not. Raul. Let's go to the park. I want to see if I can talk to anyone again on the bus. I want to see if I can... You. Can out the old maid. Back to stare at my cons, I see. Gonna play around, or you're just gonna stare at me with your big staring goo goo baby eyes. Bring it on, old lady! Bring it on! Come on, Constance. I can beat you this time. Alright. Fuck, oh, okay. She said the bad word. She, she she said the heck. Slower than the molasses you keep in your purse. Twice in a row. Oh, <laughs> she took the old maid. I can't believe it. You ain't cheating over there, are you? This card will help me win. Alright. Taking the middle one. Yosh! Yeah, take that, Constance. I beat you this time. At my play level, smell which card is the old maid. No, you can't. Get you next time. Yosh! I won the card game! Alright, got another family badge. Don't get too cocky there, kiddo. His eyes don't see as well as they used to. <laughs> they don't see... <laughs> don't see as well as they used to when I bought them off Plague Doctor in the mid to late 18th century. Just how old am I? None of your dang beeswax. Got my own beeswax to worry about. You know, from the back bees. Anyway, the event tonight. And me and my sister Rue are both gonna be there. What more do you need to know? Get the heck away from me and stop staring at my cars before I give you a knuckle sandwich. That's pig knuckle. <laughs> Which I bought from a great butcher in the back alley behind the sizzler. It's real good, so I don't want to share. <laughs> right, whatever you say, Constance. Hey, City Pal, just been wondering since we've been texting a bunch. Um, heard of the 9th Street Station at all? No. Ah, yeah, didn't think so. It's, uh, well, it's been closed for a few years. Not a lot going on since then. Still got some of the most beautiful architecture and all the underground stops in the city, yet, in my opinion. I really like to go there, actually. I was just thinking, um, if you want to stop by there, maybe I can meet you. No pressure or anything. You probably have to... Help a conductor out and team get access. It's pretty underground. <laughs> Roll. Okay, I was actually on the floor that time, but I'd fallen unrelated to laughing. Anyway, haha, don't worry about 9th Street. You can forget what I said. If you want. 